Hello and welcome back. We're going to continue our circuits tutorial today and we previously did green circuits so today we're going to look at the red circuits. Their proper name is advanced circuits. Um, you don't need them initially in the game, indeed they're not unlocked initially. Uh, however, by the time you are doing chemical science, chemical science pack requires sulfur, advanced circuits, engines. So you'll need them for these. They're also um, necessary for your next tier of uh, player equipment and uh, drone ports and a whole lot of useful early mid game kit. Um, they really mark the transition from the initial game to the uh, bit that unlocks your ability to grow your base significantly. So we're gonna look at how they're made and a couple of builds, and then a bit of advice about issues of scaling and that sort of thing. All right, so if we go to advanced circuits, it requires coils, green circuits, and plastic. Uh, previously, we saw various ways to make green circuits. Uh, we now have to make copper coils and plastic. So let's quickly review how to make plastic. Um, you need chemical plants, here we are. In fact, let's do it this way. Okay, so we'll set the recipe to plastic. Um, it'll need some pipes. Here we go. So this is pipes to put in petroleum. We're going to grab a magic infinity pipe and we're going to tell it to Produce petroleum gas. Here we are. So these now will have petroleum, and then they have. In fact, let's do it this way. Um, so they need to input coal, and they need to output plastic. So let's put in a belt. go. And there we have some plastic. Now the plastic recipe is an interesting one. It's probably the first one in the game you meet that uh, increases volumes of material. So one unit of coal goes in every point, sorry, every uh, every second, and two units of plastic bar come out every second. So uh, it, it means if we were to consume, if we were to build this big enough to consume half a belt of coal, we produce one belt of plastic. So it's worth bearing that in mind. Um, in a uh, bus based base, it is tempting to put plastic on the bus, but because it doubles in volume, uh, you end up needing a surprisingly large number of plastic belts on your bus to keep the rest of the base running. The other option is to make the plastic locally, uh, so that means you need to ship the coal around and somehow get the petroleum where it's needed, but it does mean that you don't end up with all these uh, plastic belts gumming up your bus. Anyway, that's a quick aside. So we've got some plastic. We're going to cheat in some green circuits and then we're going to look at how this could work. Okay, so this takes two plastic bars, four copper cables and two electronic circuits every six seconds, base speed. The eagle-eyed among you will have spotted that um, four copper cable um, is equivalent to two copper plate because each plate produces two cables. So what we could do very simply, one, two, three, six. Okay, we could make the copper cable locally and you'll notice here everything balances out. So one coil machine can service six red machines. And in fact, 
Um, no, let's do it up this end because it'll be more clear. That's one green circuit machine. And that's also exactly what's needed to service the six red circuit machines. So this is one of those six and two threes situations. On a bus base, you'd have a belt of green circuits. It probably makes sense to make the green circuit centrally and then split off from the bus to feed your red circuit build. In a spaghetti base or a speed run base, um, you probably want to make the green circuits local to the red circuits uh, and just feed everything with um, ore and plastic. Anyway, we'll look at this build first. So, let's have a look at this. So, the first thing we're going to do in fact Yeah, I'm going to do a um, I'm going to do a build which would work for a main bus. Okay. So this belt here is going to input um, green circuits and plastic. Then this belt here is going to be copper coils. Good. So then we could have that going out to the copper coils and then we'll have the product put this side. And because we're working on a bus type arrangement, we will feed that back down there. And then you can actually take that and put it this side. So, um, that will go out to there, and then good. And then I think we can take this. Um, no, it's not G, F for flip. Sorry, I haven't quite learned all these shortcuts because they're they're recently new. Okay, and then you would want to join these up, and in fact, you probably do something like that because red circuits are made in very low volume. Okay, <clears throat> so then this here would be made by joining a plastic line and a green circuit line. Great, and then we can consume the result here. And this won't work yet because this needs copper. Now there are other ways to make this build. Okay, and we'll we'll have a look at that. We'll have a look at some of them in a minute. But be honest, this is not horrendously awful. Right, so let's put that there. And we'll feed this some copper. And then the whole thing should spring into life. So you can see the copper coils being made here. They're going up this belt. Oh, I missed out this inserter here. Let's put that in. Good. So these are then crafting and they take a long time to craft as you can see. But then the red circuits are made, they're dumped out here. And this kind of build is convenient uh, because, let's grow that out. I'm wasting a bit of copper plate here, but you know, copper plate is cheap. If I decide that I'm not getting enough red circuits, I can pick up this unit and push it down there. There you go. Now, buyer beware. If you use this build, 
then you'll get halfway through extending this out and suddenly you will have run out of plastic and green circuits. And the reason is we're only putting half a belt of plastic and green circuits. Um, let's bump this up to a full belt of copper. Okay. So you can see it's reaching the end, but if we put another build on the end here, let's see, it might still work. Uh, you'd need power poles in here, obviously, for a real build. Um, I haven't bothered because we're we're being tutorially, um, and we need some more long-handed inserters, apparently. Okay, so you can see this is working. Um, and it's just beginning to back up. Uh, let's do one more. See what happens. Okay, we're going to improve this build in a moment. Um, we need some of those. And you, you can see this is quite a hungry build for parts just because of the size of the thing. Alright. So I think it's showing up the issue now. So, at about this point, we are running out of plastic and green circuits. Which is fair enough, you know. I don't know quite what you're expecting to happen when you make the build bigger and bigger. Now, we could upgrade to red circuits, which is what you would do. But then you'd, you'd run out of resources for the red circuit build quite soon as well. Now, one option is just to copy this whole thing and put another one there. Which is a perfectly sensible option. However, we can improve this build in essentially the same footprint. The problem is, uh, this belt is shared for both this red machine and this red machine. Okay, so what we're going to do is cut this half of the build off, move it over one tile. And then we'll probably have to do some surgery in a moment to fix everything up. Um, in fact, I'm going to take out all the inserters, because the inserters are most likely wrong. Then I'm going to copy the inserters this side. There we go. And I'm going to flip them. And then I'm going to copy this belt. And I'm going to put that down there as well. Okay, um, we'll need some more belt, I guess. Um, more tier two assemblers, there we go. Okay. And as yet, we only have half the build running, but we could now adjust this arrangement here. Excuse me for the spaghetti-ish nature of this. I am kind of designing this all on the fly. But you get the idea. So um, this, let's adjust this to be a full belt of green circuits. Um, let's... double this. Uh, what's the best way? Take all of that out. Put it there. Copy this. I can't remember the exact number of plastics you need for a full belt, if it's 8 or 10. Anyway. Let's build it anyway. In fact, let's double check. So five of those outputs 10 items. So we need about 8 of those, is it? Eight of those, yeah. So we don't need the final build. Good. So we will... Okay. 
There we go. So this should now be a full belt of plastic. There are other ways to do this belt shenanigans. But you can see now that we've got... Well, it'll start to shake out once the plastic coat comes up. Now, we're now using a dedicated copper coil belt down the middle. One optimization you can make here is to take it, to break this belt up. Um, now, the, the reason you would do this... Whoop, there. Let's check I haven't done it wrong down here. Yeah, it needs to go there. The reason you would do this is um, if something is undersupplied, that is, if, uh, for example, plastic isn't getting far enough up the belt or, or whatever it happens to be, um, you can end up with the copper coil made down here traveling all the way up the belt. If you break the middle belt up like this, it means that um, the copper coils made by this machine and this machine only service this block of 12 red circuit machines. And that's that's definitely an, an advantageous optimization. It stops things flowing past where they can be used. Okay, so that's that's a perfectly sensible build. And if you upgraded from yellow belt to red belt, you could double the size of this. If you upgraded to blue belt, you could treble the size of this. Um, the other optimizations you can make is instead of feeding in one lane of copper, feed in two. Uh, to be honest, copper is probably not going to be your limit for a red circuit build. Okay, so this is what you would do on a main bus. You would then dump this onto the bus and it would go off and, and do its merry things in its own merry way. The um, other red circuit build that I end up using uh, is more of a speed run build. Uh, it's for when you want to make and consume red circuits where you are. And this um, involves a bit more maths. Okay, so let's mock it up. Okay, you may remember from last time, 10 coil machines consume one yellow belt of copper. So let's set this up. Sorry, let's set this up. So this is going to be a line of copper. And in fact, I'm going to move it because I don't want to be building over the top of um, an ore patch because it's just difficult to see. So copper. And I'm pretty sure you can feed this with um, yellow inserters from vanilla without any insertion bonuses, but if not, use blues. In fact, for the sake of exposition, I'm going to use blue inserters here. Okay. Um, and in case of confusion, these red circuit machines run so slowly uh, that um, yellow inserters are fine. Never going to be a problem. All right. So these now need to output And if you remember, this is sufficient to output these from these machines at full speed. All right, so what's the next thing we do? Well, these are going to be green circuit machines. And they are going to Take in iron. Okay, so let's input iron and put out green circuits. And I've got a feeling. Yeah, that's exactly half a belt, so that's exactly what we wanted. Alright. So then. Um, Let's 
Da ist im Kopf Coil. And this is where you would put in some uh, plastic. Let's get this belt shenaniganry correct. Okay, so what we have now is a half belt of plastic. We've got some green circuits and some coils. And let's do it like this because it lines up nicely. Okay, so that is our unit. And Let's take these out, and because we're doing a speedrunner type situation, uh, we'll put them in a box. In fact, one box will be enough because life is too short. And then that would go off, and you'd use it for things like blue, blue science. Okay. So let's grab this, paste it there. So that's two, four, Six machines. Twelve. Eighteen. And four. Okay. And we're out of long arms. There we are. So it's a very simple build, right? You can make this pretty trivially. And um, if you were to move this belt one further out, uh, we could have just swiped across, put down all six of these inserters in one go. I'm not going to here. Okay. So what we've done is we've taken one smelter's worth of copper, co copper plates and part of a smelter of iron plate. And just to prove the point, I'm going to put a, a sink on here. Okay. So you'll see that when it, there's material going into here. It's not all being consumed by these. In fact, it just so happens that the amount left over is enough to do something useful. Um, let's find it. So... There we go. So let's see how well this burns through the, the copper, the iron plates. So you can get a bit more out of it than this. But you can see this is now your pipes and your gears that you need for your engine build, for your, your chemical science. So the chemical science itself does not need this many red circuits. Okay, not quite. Uh, you can see we're not quite running the last machines here. Uh, not running the last four. That's not a problem because once you've set this up and it's been running for a few minutes, you will have some production modules and they kind of balance everything out. Okay, now there's issues here with making sure this belt is fully loaded and all that sort of stuff, but. Um, This is as good as any simple, stupid, um, make them and use them red circuit build. So uh, that's really all I wanted to do for red circuits. There are late game builds involving beacons, um, things you can do with tier three machines and modules and all that sort of stuff. But really, I just wanted to do a tutorial to get you started with red circuits. Um, so if you're doing a bus, this kind of arrangement is as good as anything. There are variations on it, um, but I, I find this kind of thing to be, you know,
fairly simple to build and does the job. If you're looking for a more, more speedrunnery situation where you have smelting blocks feeding dedicated into this, then this kind of build works. Um, and you've got a little bit of iron plate left over to feed into something else. So uh, that's it really, that's my red circuit tutorial. Um, please like and subscribe. I'm in the Facebook channel for Factorio to talk to. Um, and if there's interest, I will do a blue circuit tutorial next to kind of complete the hat trick. Thanks very much for watching. So long and thanks for all the fish.